Hi and welcome back to my channel and again I'm playing with Distress Inks today but before I start applying the inks to my spread I'm stamping on some background patterns using the sand dollar from the Textured Sea Creatures and I'm using Rissamog ink, that's the reason why you can't see it because I want to go for some embossing and use this as a resist against the Distress inks. I'm using the big and the small sand dollar and I just stamped them not overlapping on the background. The paper I'm using is mixed media paper from Kenson and this is for my handmade journal I showed a while ago. Of course I will put a link in the video description where you can watch the making of the journal. In addition to this stamping, I want to add some of that chunky embossing enamel from Stampendous. I have no idea if this is still available. It's very old and I rarely use it, but for this project it's really nice. I just sprinkle it onto the page and I just start with one page because you have to heat set this from the back side to avoid blowing everything away. And as my page is so big, the other side is hanging down and I can't um, to both pages at once. And I'm doing this off camera be because it's um, everything is a bit too small on my desk to show this to you, but I'm using a heat gun and I just heat set it from underneath to avoid spreading the or blowing the powder around. I do this to both sides of the pages and today I'm going to create also both sides and when everything is melted I use the Distress inks together with a mini jelly plate um, and create the background. If you don't have a jelly plate you can just use a piece of acetate from my packaging or so and use this to apply the ink. I just smush it to the plate and then spritz it with water and then press it onto my paper. The colors I'm using here are obviously some sea colors and I picked the evergreen bow. I believe also the peacock feathers and the brushed curodi. I have no idea how it is pronounced. Um, it's kind of a brownish color and I just use it at the bottom. With this technique you have more control where you want to have your ink and you will have even more control with a piece of acetate but um, I have the feeling the ink sticks better to the jelly plate when you turn it around. Oh no, I think I used Yes, I used peacock feathers and here I also used, I believe, faded jeans. I really loved how this background turned out with the embossing and I should remind myself more often to use this enamel because I have it in tons of different colors and I have only full bottles of it because I normally don't use it. I'm spritzing the background again with a little bit of water and just use a brush to spread some of the ink around. And here I picked some of the brown up again from my desk. I wanted to add some more of the dark blue and I just used the ink pad and press it together and then you have some ink on the inside of the lid and you can pick this up. If you need more color you can just squish the ink pad to your glass plate or to your craft mat and then use it as kind of a palette.
while the background is drying I am coloring in my main images and I picked um, two of the fishes here you can see three but I will only use two of them um, from the textured fishes stamp set and I will also use a turtle from the textured sea creatures and I've stamped them to the Canson XL watercolor paper and I'm using the Arteza Twee markers to color them in um, before I start coloring I wet the whole image because the markers blend a bit better when it's already wet and I don't want to get the fishes too dark I colored in all my images but before I will glue them down I wanted to create some texture on each page and for the left side I decided to stamp kind of a frame with a border stamp. I'm adding some additional texture with one of my mixed media mark stamps just to create more interest on the background. For the right side I decided to use some ink blending on the edges of the page and I'm using such a makeup sponge or makeup brush together with the black soot and just blend it in from the outside. I have already sticked down the fishes to the left side and I just used a glue stick for that. When I cut them out I left a tiny white border around them to make them pop more from the background. I'm also adding some texture stamping here using Distress Inks. I'm using the same that I've used for the background and I used these doodle borders with the leafy images to create some sea plants. To finish the right side I'm adding the sea turtle and one of the plants from the textured sea creatures and I have colored in both images also with the tree markers. I finished everything up by adding a quick sentiment to each spread. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!